Dave Palumbo here, and I have a very special video for you. I know you guys like to watch uh, videos about steroid injections and everything like that, but that's not going to happen here today, but we are going to do an injection. This is my uh, albino ball python. Her name is Mary Lou Who, and she, uh, she's sick. She's got a little respiratory tract infection, and we took her to the vet, and the vet gave us some antibiotics, but snakes don't take antibiotics like people. They can't swallow stuff like we do, so we got to inject them. This looks like an old equipoise bottle, actually. This is uh, Tazacef, which is a cephalosporin antibiotic, cell wall inhibitor, and we got to give her a shot every three days. Every 72 hours, she's got to get a tenth of a cc of this stuff, and we got to do an intramuscular shot, so you guys probably like that. I've never done one on a snake before, although I've done many other shots before, and I feel comfortable doing it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this up and I'm going to show you guys and then we're going to put her in a, in a nebulizing little bath what we're going to do. We're going to put her in this uh, fogger and we're going to put this antiseptic called F10. And F10 will help disinfect her lungs. It's almost like uh, putting like a, a nebulizer on someone in the hospital. We got our 1cc, I think this is a 25 gauge syringe. It's got a nice long tip on it. We don't have to put the whole thing in her. Let's open this up here. Okay. We're gonna take. We're gonna drop a tenth of a cc. Let's see what we got. We had it to frost. This stuff's got to be kept in the freezer. It's like IGF one. Okay. We got a tenth of a cc right here now, and I got to inject her. And what you do is the snake is you go a third of the way down the body, and you feel for the spine. Okay, when you have the spine, which is right here, you go just to the side of it. And you're gonna go we're gonna go right in on an angle. Let's see if she's gonna let me do this. Otherwise we may need some help. Injected it, beautiful. Give it a little rub. This is Dave Palumbo injection technique. Amanda told me I wouldn't be able to do it myself. That actually needed someone to help them do it. I didn't. I did it all by myself. And look, she didn't even cry. I get, as my dad says, I give a good shot, you know. And that's, that's a skill. That's a skill. I don't know if it's a skill or if it's an inherited skill, but I give a good shot. All right, now we're going to take her. And now that she's got her antibiotics going through her, and we're going to put her in this little contraption I set up here. Let me see if Amanda can get that. Um, first of all, let me show you what I got here. I have a Reptifogger um, from ZooMed. And what this does is this is usually used for, like, tree frogs that need to be kept moist. It, it shoots fog out of it. And what I did was, I cut a hole in the, in the top of this Tupperware top, and I put the fogger tube in there. So this water in here, when it turns to fog, will be pushed through the top and go into this tub where I'm going to put the snake. Now, here's the interesting thing. What we did was, she's not going to want to stay. Let's put this in here. Seal her in here. Now what I did was there's this product called F10 that never was in this country. It's just recently was in this country. It's a um, veterinary disinfectant, but it's safe for animals to use, uh, to use on animals. It doesn't hurt them at all. And we put it in a very dilute amount. We put three cc's of this solution in this bottle, which was filled to the top of water. I used it the other day, so there's no reason to remix it. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the fogger on, switch, full blast. Okay, wrap the fogger. And as you can see, fog is going to start going into this container. Now, the snake's going to freak out a little bit, but it's really, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just water vapor with a little bit of this disinfectant, which is going to help her as she breathes it in. It's going to help disinfect some of the bacteria in there and clear her lungs. You've got to remember, a snake has a very long, thin lung. It really has two lungs, but one of them is really non-functional. So when that lung starts to fill up with fluid from respiratory, anything respiratory in nature, it'll prevent the snake from actually being able to breathe. And so snakes go downhill very quickly and can die from respi simple respiratory tract infection. So we want to treat this aggressively. We gave her the antibiotic shot. Now she's going to do this nebulizer for 20 minutes on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this nebulizer off, this fogger off, and we're going to leave her in there another 20 minutes, okay, just to let her breathe in the stuff. And then we're going to put her back in her cage. And we're going to do, we repeat the fogger every day for about maybe two weeks. And we're going to do the injections every 72 hours for a total of five injections. So that's how you treat a snake, a sick snake, Dave Palumbo fashion.